Jesus. There's so many freaking characters in this shit, brother. This one should be good because to be real, Tekken has never really gotten like great supers. The end of Tekken 7 got good supers, pretty good supers, but like the first couple seasons of supers in Tekken 7 were no good. Here we go, right? This is super uh, Jin Kazama. I think it's this. Rate the Super Kazuya! Let's do it! Oh, look at Kazuya Super. Look at that. So sick, he kicks you away. I honestly give it like a nine, dude. I, I don't know. I think it's pretty dope. I think it's better than uh, Kaz turning into like, you know, uh, a devil and shooting you with lasers and shit. Gin time, which one am I on? Okay, here we go. It's not bad. Right, it's not bad. Is it amazing? I almost think I like his, his cinematic like story one a little bit more. It's okay, but to me it's like a seven, about like a seven out of 10. Oh, she doesn't get much of like an ending flash. Like the whole reason we're doing this is so we can set up the cool stuff that happens after the fight is over. Yeah, it feels like a six, right? Honestly feels relatively six-ish. She's gonna shoot you in the back and then break your heart? I'll give it a seven, right? The fact that she's pulling out guns and shooting you, I give it a seven. All right, here we go, here's Lee's. Marvelous! Marvelous! It's fun. I don't think it reaches like 10 out of 10 or even nine, but this, it's a solid eight and it's pretty good. Warang. God damn! I give it a nine. Yeah, actual nine. I think it's pretty freaking sick. It's kind of close to Ken, except Ken's critical art ends with like a, a Shoryuken, right? Okay, uh, Fang. The light pillar does a lot. It doesn't make it legendary, but I think it's at least an eight, dude. Uh, Asuka. It's cool, right? It's cool. If it didn't have the triple throw thing, I don't think it would be nearly as good. I'll give it like a seven, maybe a six and a half. Ugh. Changing my score on it, I don't know. Yoshi, hold this bear combo. Hold on a second. Hold this bear combo, Yoshi. All right, Panda. It might be better than Xiao Yu Super, right? I, I kind of like it. It's like a nine. I kind of like it. Yoshi time. I think I remember this, and I think this is gonna get a very high rating. Killed the bear. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Best super, best super. Line them up. Uh, here's Reyna. It's kind of cool, dude. Heihachi reference and all. 
kind of goddamn cool. I don't want to give it, I don't think I want, I don't think it's as good as Yoshi's. I give it like a 9.5. It's very close. All right, Devil Jin, let's do it. Captain Sword and shit. I don't know, dude. These characters like Yoshimitsu and Devil Jin like enter the spirit dimension and shit. I, I, that might be a 10, at least for me personally. I think it's a 10 out of 10 comparatively to what we've seen so far. I think it's a 10. Here is Victor's. I, I'm re I'm reluctant to give him a 10 out of 10 as well because it's sold so much in effects and animation. I think it's a 9.5. I'll give him a 9.5. I love that he's just... Uh, they're so unapologetic with Victor. They're just like, we're just going to make this character cool. That's just, that is his character. His character is that he's cool. Ah! It's a cute ender. That helps. I'll give it an eight. Okay, I'll give it an eight. But Bandai Namco, I'm gonna be real with you here. I'm gonna be real with you, Bandai Namco. You had the opportunity of a lifetime and you dropped it. You literally have a character where her, her, her entire being is coffee. I do not understand how she did not have a full cup of piping hot Joe and just splashes it directly in a character's face and they go, ah! And then she like flicks you. I don't know how you dropped that. Personally offended. She literally she kicks you, bro. Give me a break. Are we ready for a? Uh, are you ready for a ten out of ten? Ready for a ten out of ten? Just give him the award. Just give him the award. Whatever award we get for the end of this shit, just give him the award, dude. Go to hell out of 10. All right, uh, Shaheen. I don't remember what his is. Oh yeah, he serves your ass. A surf into dive kick? It's not bad. It's, it's a little DMC3-ish. Yahoo, you know? It's like an eight. I feel like the dive kick in the end could have been something cooler, personally. Fall time. Strongest in the universe! Strongest in the universe! It's got a lot of oomph. And I love it that he loses his, his arm padding, right? I do think that's cool, but it's okay. I, I think it's kind of a six-ish. All right, Law. The fact that he turns into Maxi. You got to give him props on the ender, right? You got to give him props to go full Bruce Lee. I don't think it's a 10, but I think it's a nine, right? And the the little, the Bruce Lee nod clearly elevates it a little bit from being just an eight. You know, him just whipping out nunchucks and beating your ass with him, I kind of love it. I hate rich people. Yeah! <laughs> he fucking crushes your chest. Yeah, it's, it's super similar to the Tekken 7 one, which is better, right? But it is similar, right? The dragon does add a nice element and the pacing of these supers is so much better than Tekken 7. I give it like an eight. Oh, here's Zafina. Hers is pretty crazy from what I remember. You're like murdered by the arm of Azazel. Some of these where we enter like the nightmare realm is kind of dope. I'll give it like this one. I wish the arm did something cooler. Cause so if that being said, I'll give it a 9.5, but visually it's a super sick looking super. Uh, Claudio. Oh, 
Arrivederci at the end is kind of cool. But... I think it's like a seven. All right, here's Leo. Oh, the whip super. Cool, right? It almost feels like the grappling hook is like disconnected from what happens through the rest. I'm gonna grappling hook around and then land and then uh, Jack eight. Here's my Sunday best. It does a lot for me. I'll give it a nine. Yeah, the camera work in these supers is so much better than Tekken 7. Like the camera work in like the beats to these supers is way better without them being specifically longer. June. Oh, she cleanses dad ass. You evil bitch robot. He's dead and everybody's happy. Uh, I think it's cool, right? For something that doesn't, like, again, the presentation is everything. Even though she doesn't do, she literally touches you in the chest. But the fact that they add, like, the bird, the fact that they have, like, this big moment where, like, it, it's just, like, this holy-ass, like, white background. The, it sets up for this thing that feels kind of cool. Presentation's everything. I give it, like, a nine. Nothing really happens, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a sick super. All right, Lars. Let's see, Kings. Shit! Almost got it mixed up. I mean, it, it's what? It's like a, what is it? A Naruto reference? It's a reference to Dragon Ball? It's a Simpsons reference? You know? I, I saw that in the Simpsons once. Sasuke did that to Marge right after Batman Beyond. Yeah, I was in South Park. It's a 10 out of 10. Okay, here we go, King. Let's do it right this time. Managing these two controllers. Meow. Oh, I get why it's not as good. I get why it's kind of a snoozer. Yeah, because the pose at the end is really weird to visually discern, and it lacks a lot of impact. To be honest, I'd give it like a six. It's one of the lower ranked ones because it's like, this could be really cool. And then it just ends in something that's kind of confusing and lacks like a big moment. Here's Steve's. Govna. The wave at the end is kind of cool, but to be real, I think it's like a seven. The cool effect Repukin thing at the end is dope, but it's, nah. There's Alyssa's. Oh, oh God. Hold, get ready. It's a 10 out of 10. Uh, I mean, it, people are like, it's a nine or a 10. It's definitely a 10. Super Ronaldo Soccer 64. Uh, what is that game called? It's a 10. I, I love it how weird and ins insane it is. I love it. Let's try Lily's first. Oh, she makes you dance. Oh, I think that's cool. It's all right. It's kind of straightforward. She sort of has a Manon one without as much flourish. I give it like an eight. I'm gonna point at you and never say anything. They did something. They made him cold, cold hearted like his actual character. I feel like this is doing the best with what you could get. And it's still like a six, maybe a seven. And the ice thing is, is a cool element to it. It's interesting that they also include from Tekken 7, the, uh, the Negan element where it's like, oh, the shot of you looking up dis discombobulated, right? That, that's a neat aspect to it. Most middle of the road rage art. Yeah, I mean, to be to be honest, I think a lot of them are, are good to me because the camera work in this and 
everything is better than it's ever been in Tekken. Dude, the majority of supers in, in Tekken 7 are just the characters' existing animations with some minor different camera movement, you know? Yeah, Brian first. Poor bear. Dope. That's really dope. And the thing is, like, the super doesn't really have anything special. It's the presentation. We're going into inside his cyborg robot mind to beat ass. I give it like a nine, dude. Maybe a nine point five. There. It has to be a 10, right? <laughs> Somebody in the chat legit said, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> then it's a 10 out of 10. If a super has caught you off guard that much, your pants are down. Oh shit, bro. That's a good super. Long story short, Tekken's never had a lot of supers. Seven was like the first game to actually give characters you know, uh, rage arts and shit. And this is so much better. We've seen a lot of it in Soul Calibur over the years where Soul Calibur 4 had really, really specific cinematic supers. Soul Calibur 5 obviously had big stuff. Soul Calibur 6 obviously had big stuff. I think now it's like we are absolutely seeing a budget show up in these Bandai Namco games. Tekken 7 was one of the best selling Bandai Namco games there was, if not one of the best selling fighting games, period. And the cool part about it is that they could have just pocketed that money and been like, all right, so here's even less money to make the next game, which is a common thing. But you know, knowing Harada and a lot of the devs, they truly give a shit about this. We we see the money. Pick my top three. Yoshimitsu for sure. Devil Jins is also incredibly cool and probably Raven. Yeah, you can't not have Raven in there in terms of like my own personal ratings. The fact that it does this spinning camera thing and you see the back of these dudes like running in and kicking your ass. I love it, dude. The camera work sells the whole thing. It's such a sick looking super.